Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Barcelona, and I'm here with Les Stewart. And IMC is going through a bit of an evolution. And uh, tell me about what you guys are changing. Oh, wow. Well, we're, we're changing quite a bit because IMC has just blown up over the last couple of years. You know, we've seen a lot of um, interesting trends in networking, and all those trends in networking definitely affect management. Um, I've got to manage all the different technologies. Um, the overlays, the uh, OpenFlow and SDN environments, the traditional networking, which has gotten very complex, all the new virtualization technologies that are um, affecting the infrastructure and the network, all this has to be managed. And this has bred um, uh, complexity, all right? There's, there's the level of complexity that all these technologies and solutions bring to the infrastructure, and the management of them is no less complex. All right, and for the large enterprise customer, uh, they have the IT staff and the IT resources to de dedicate people um, to management, and they use IMC and our modules very successfully, very, very successfully. And we've actually even quantified that um, quite recently with a return on investment analysis, a white paper, a calculator that we're about to release. But a lot of our bread and butter comes from the mid-sized enterprise. And there, I've heard that they're a little bit more challenged in order to use IMC. They, and, but you, mean, you mean challenged in the sense of the, the complexity of the product? Exactly. Um, and it's not that the product in itself is really complex, it's, it's just that there's so, much, so many features and functions that are available in there to manage a complex environment that it can be overwhelming, it can be daunting. And some people will view that as being too hard to use. So what, we're, what I'm doing is pulling back for 2014 and really focusing on ease of use and usability so that I can better satisfy the needs of the mid-size enterprise. Now, I started that at the end of, um, uh, th actually throughout this year, in changing the pricing and changing the packaging so it's really attractive and suitable for the mid-size enterprise so that it will, from a pricing and packaging perspective, it will compete with all those um, mid-market solutions for management that you see from independent software vendors. But now the focus is on usability. So, so what kinds of ways are you, are you making the product more usable? And I assume you're, you're saying you're doing it uh, with the intent of helping the, the mid-sized mid companies, but I, but I assume the enterprise customers would also get the benefit of the changes. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, first and foremost, what we've done is we're starting to move to HTML5. So right now, oh, about 90% of the platform is at HTML5. Now, if you don't know about HTML5, really, and quite simply, what that does is it alleviates us from the dependency on Java, all right? Because Java didn't turn out to be all that it was cut out to be, you know, that, that it was touted to be. So the, what that does with an enhancement that we made called dynamic content delivery is it allows us to deliver the network management content for any platform. So when I look at the network management station or the IMC station from my desktop, I see the tradition, you know, I see the normal page. When I look at it on a tablet, it's formatted slightly different. When I look at it on my iPhone, Again, it's formatted different. Rather than trying to compress that screen onto a small uh, footprint, we dynamically alter the content um, and deliver that appropriately um, to the appropriate device. So, so in the web design world, that's, that's called responsive design. So, then that, so you're still going to the same URL to, to hit the management console. It just is displaying it uh, differently to de device dependent. Yeah. And so, so depending on the screen size, it shows you a different experience. Exactly, and, and and that's really what it is. It's the same thing, it's the same thing. We just put a different name <laughs> uh, uh, around it for our release. So that's one thing, and, and what that has also done is now we can completely jettison the Android app and the IO, you know, the app that we have on the App Store. We don't need to do those anymore because we can deliver the management content to uh, and format it to fit any browser. So that was one. 
Now, the other thing that we're um, doing right now and we'll be rolling out in patch um, releases through 2014 is workflow templates. And so an example of a workflow template is, you know, as we all know, last year we released our BYOD solution. And we've had several releases um, uh, since that, and we'll continue to expand on its functionality. Now, BYOD, the, setting up BYOD can be pretty complex because you've got to set up the wireless network, you've got to build access policies, um, you might have to configure certificates. Um, what type of BYOD access do you want? Do you want device fingerprinting all the way down to the operating system level paired with the device? Do you want simple radius authentication? Do you want just guest access? There's a lot of, perm and for every one of those, there's a lot of permutations and options to choose. So it's become a little complex to set up a BYOD. So what we've done is we've created a template that allows you to choose what do you want to do? I want to set up BYOD with guest access or BYOD with 802.1x. And then all the appropriate choices um, are filled in for you in this workflow template. You can modify them, for instance, change an SSID. And then at the very bottom of it, you hit OK. And it'll go do the radius configuration, do the wireless configuration, build a security policy, maybe modify um, a VLAN or create a VLAN on an access switch because it's wired and wireless. Um, one, one form, click OK and go. Now, does that tie in with uh, solutions like, say, say like a mobile iron that, that helps uh, the um, enterprise defend the phone? Well, yes and no. But the no part is uh, what I just mentioned regarding workflow templates. Mm, no, because that, the workflow templates is, a, is an ease of use um, thing. But are we working now, the yes part, are we working with other vendors to enhance our own BYOD? Absolutely. So we have announced um, our partnership and integration with um, MDM vendors like Citrix, like Mobile Iron. We've got other vendors queued up that will come out through um, support for their MDM and MAM um, next year. In addition, we're now supporting the um, certificate uh, um, authorization protocol, or it's called SCEP, um, for further device control and security. So, you bet. All right, well, it sounds like there's some good things coming next year. Absolutely. IMC continues to rock.